Hey guys, welcome to Rota Riot. This is the first community spotlight episode of the year, and we are filming it at our new headquarters in Orlando, Florida. Here we go. We don't even have a door sign up yet, just a, a blank door, but things are coming along. And stay tuned because we will be showing you more of what we're gonna do with all of this space. We will have some big announcements coming for everything that we have got planned for this year. It's gonna be a busy one. This is the meeting room. They're in there being productive while we're just hanging out. What's up, guys? What's up? All right, guys, I've taken over Jeff's work area. We're gonna be doing our Community Spotlight here. For those of you that aren't familiar, Community Spotlight is a video series where we show you clips from the FPV community. We pull these clips from submissions, a link in the description to the submission form, as well as just videos that we see that are posted to our Facebook group, and also just from perusing around YouTube. So the best way to get on this is just to be making content. And if it's good, interesting, funny, whatever, we'll see it and it'll end up here. This year we're gonna be doing something a little bit different with Community Spotlight. Of all the clips we show, we are gonna pick a winning clip and that winner is going to get a prize. Now this Community Spotlight is brought to you by the Blaster Motor from Hype Train. So the winner of this Community Spotlight is going to receive a free set of blaster motors. The blasters are special because they feature the first replacement program. So if you break or destroy your blaster from pushing yourself in your flying, which is what we want you to be doing, which is what this whole segment is about, then you can replace it at a deep discount. So with that, let's dive right into the first Community Spotlight of 2019. Now these first couple of clips were selected because of one particular really eye-catching trick. This one by Martin Dalevall is a dive and on the way down on this tower he's actually scraping so you literally can't get any closer but what i really like is that when he makes contact it doesn't disrupt the quad too much like it's a really clean skid like looked very intentional it didn't make the footage look worse so super cool next up we have a clip by tack fpv now what i like about this video is he is visiting this spot that was flown previously by Stinger Swarm, and it was one of the first power loops that Stingy did that really like crowned him as the power loop king. It's kind of this like gap into the power loop. So it's really nostalgic to see this spot revisited. And what's cool is Tack actually Natty flips it. I just love seeing a spot that kind of struck a particular nostalgic memory of, of, of seeing this power loop that Stinger Swarm did back in the day and it really blowing my mind and, and seeing that spot revisited and now to see that, that kind of famous gap Natty flipped for the first time. So big props to Tack. Next up we have Dozer FPV. This video is called Dive City, but he's doing a lot more than just dives. Now don't get me wrong, the dives are sweet, but the particular trick that really caught my eye is this upward spiral through a tree gap. I like have had to watch that a couple of times. He like goes up and, I mean, it, it's such a good use of momentum. He just tosses himself up and like spirals perfectly. It's super smooth, but when I saw it, it just really, captivated me, it's just it's cool. Next up, we've got Wara GP, who has certainly made a name for himself for hucking his quad through tight gaps and just doing crazy tricks, never worrying about exploding. And this, this is like on a whole nother level. So Wara goes to this, this giant chimney, kicks it right off with a perfect entry. Now, this is like a really tight chimney. To hold your dive and not kind of move into a wall is really difficult. And what happens is as he's approaching the other side, he, twirls around and then actually pulls back and reverses out of the gap. That is just nuts. I don't know how tall that tower dive is, but to dive through that whole thing and then pull out backwards, next level, I, damn. All right, these next two clips I call racers doing freestyle. We have a clip from Minchan FPV and we have a clip from Captain Vanover. I love seeing pilots push themselves into other genres and now both of these pilots are top, top racers. You might be surprised to know that they can also freestyle incredibly well. Minchan is hyper precise and has good flow and is, 
making good use of a race course as a freestyle area. It's again just really cool to see someone that I predominantly see just going all out exploring more of the flight envelope and being kind of more creative. And now this clip from Vanover is uh, something really special. He is super cinematic and just on godly smooth i don't know what he's doing in particular some of these moves where he like brushes through the tall grass it just it's just so perfect this quad is so locked in and the time of day is awesome it's right before sunset so this the sky is beautiful cinematic runs squeezing in a building dive doing some juicy tricks snappy things you, you never know what you're gonna get super impressive every time i watch it i kind of just i'm at a loss for words this is one of the smoothest flight videos i've ever seen this kid is just all around way too good at flying drones no one should be this this good at, at flying this next group of clips is all about subjects and locations. This video by Ironic GTI FPV takes place at one of the most epic bando sites I've ever seen. There is so much to it, just lots and lots of, of gaps and areas to do lines, and he absolutely nails it, pulling off some really amazing tricks, some really great flows, also mixing in some cinematic shots. And to top it all off, the time of day is so choice. The sunset is making the sky just look gorgeous, and the reflections off the glass are beautiful. This is an all around amazing flight video. I highly recommend watching the whole thing. Link in the description to this video and every video and pilot that we're featuring here. Next up, we've got West Side FPV and he is doing paraglide chasing. I think this is called paragliding and he's chasing these gliders with his quad and he is also getting footage from the paragliders themselves and mixing it together and it's kind of trippy because there are certain points where you're like, wait, am I watching a drone clip or am I watching a clip from the paraglider? But just getting these kind of like swooping shots of these guys as they're gliding through the air is just really epic looking. I also really like the color grade that he's got going on here. So the whole package of this video is just great. Here we have Jonathan S. And this isn't necessarily one location. It's a whole host of locations from Malaysia. He's flying beaches, he's flying hills and mountains, he's flying around some statues and parks. Really just looks like a beautiful country and his flying is so well suited for all of the areas. It, it's both showing off his flying and where he's flying. I love videos like this. And here we have another bando, but what's special about this one is it is actively being demolished. Sergey somehow got to fly a building while they are demolishing it. And he's flying through it as giant chunks of the roof are coming down and the dust is kicking up and he's punching through the clouds. It's so cool, it is so cool. I've always wanted to do something like this. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how you arrange this, but props, man, this is, it's so awesome. At one point he goes through the debris and actually gets hit by some papers falling, but luckily it doesn't take his quad out because if that had gotten buried in the rubble and the footage destroyed, that would have been a huge loss. Awesome video, awesome video, dude. This next category is called the poop category. We only have one video in this category and it is by Riley. He goes for this power loop over this awning and as he's coming down, he hits, goes a little bit too low, clips the ground right in the one patch of dog poop. What kind of luck do you have to have to, to pull that off? That you're gonna you're gonna just perfectly graze the ground right where there just happens to be some dog poop. Um, you might say that's luck. The last group of clips are all about different styles of flight. Tengu FPV is doing 3D flying, which means he set up his drone so that the motors will spin both ways. So upright, he can make positive thrust, and when he's upside down, he can actually make negative thrust. So he can actually sustain flight upside down. Now this type of setup just enables a whole new host of tricks, including just cruising upside down. It, it's really crazy. This is some of the smoothest 3D flying I think I've ever seen. 
It's particularly challenging because when you go from upright to inverted, the motors have to come to a stop so that they can switch directions. And at that point, the quad will usually get a little unsettled and have a little bit of a jitter. But if you can time it just right, you can keep it smooth. And Tengu seems to have really mastered that, just doing seamless transitions between upright and inverted. Here we have Inzane FPV. Now, this might look like 3D flying because it looks like he is flying upside down. But what this is, is like the Maddie style of flying where you're using a high camera up tilt and flying backwards at such a high angle that the horizon comes back into view. I call it Maddie because it was made most famous and kind of done first by a pilot named Maddie Stuns. What's extra interesting about this video is that he has tilted his camera up to 70 degrees. Normally high up tilt would mean like 60 degrees. That's what Maddie and Florent flies, but Zane's gone all the way for 70. So I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. And the result is he ends up flying more inverted than he actually does upright. It makes for a very trippy video, but it's fun to watch. Just you might want to be sitting down because if you're standing, you might kind of fall over. Next up, we have a clip from George FPV. I actually came across this clip in the liftoff Facebook group. Liftoff is an FPV simulator. Uh, we do a lot of work with them. Uh, they are awesome guys and their simulator is a really great tool for practicing um, different tricks and different styles. And that's exactly what George here is doing. He is trying to emulate flying styles of other pilots. So he's trying to simulate Schizo, Johnny, and myself, Ladrib. And it's really cool to see one person trying to basically copy kind of the signature style and look of other pilots. And if I do say so myself, I think he's done a pretty good job. What I enjoy most is seeing him try to fly like me. And I can definitely say firsthand that as I'm watching him, there are times where I'm like, yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what I would have done at that exact moment. He's, uh, good, good job, George. Our last featured video is by Vic FPV. Now, Vic has a really defined style, really like high rate, lots of flips, very technical and very precise. I always enjoy watching Vic's videos. And what's extra cool about this particular video is he's kind of live narrating it. So he's got a stick cam and he's talking through his thoughts in real time. This is something that I've done a little bit of in my vlogs and I haven't seen too many other people do it, but I love it. I think it is fascinating to kind of get in the head of another pilot, especially another pilot with such a different type of style and does tricks that you might not do so often. So, so for me watching Vic where he does a lot of tricks that I don't do as often and kind of getting in his head as to how he approaches it, why he does uh, certain moves at certain times and, and all that sort of thing. It's, it's really interesting. Again, definitely make sure to check out this entire video, link in the description. All right, guys, that's it. Those are all the clips that we have to share today, and it is time to pick a winner. Again, our winning pilot is going to receive a set of blaster motors, and our winner is Sergey for his video flying through the building under demolition. I think that's a really appropriate winner for the blaster motor since the whole idea of the blaster is you shouldn't have to worry about damaging your gear because of the replacement program. And if this is the type of stuff that you're gonna be filming flying through buildings as they're collapsing around you, you might get some good use out of a durable motor that's inexpensive to replace. So great work to everyone. Thank you guys for joining this edition of Community Spotlight. I've been your host, Ladrib. Remember to keep flying and posting videos so that we can feature your flying on the next episode of Community Spotlight.